In the last video, we looked at how to create a concrete block version uh, and adjust the walls or stretch the walls so that they were fitting for concrete block increments just like we originally did with the cavity brickwork. Now what I mentioned with the cavity brickwork of course is that we can't get the internal skins and the external skins to both work perfectly because it's a 270 wall which doesn't work with the increment and so in generally speaking we'd make sure that the exterior wall would be the one that matched up perfectly um, in terms of being visible from the outside and the internal bricks will then just need to be cut when they get to corners if they were also going to be visible on the inside, as in face brick rather than rendered. Now we're going to create a copy, which I've done now. Just drag a copy again. Don't do that normally, but it's okay in this case. And we're going to adjust it to start to add composite detailing onto these to make it work differently. Uh, we're not going to worry too much about the party walls at the moment, but we're just going to do this with the exterior walls to turn these into a concrete block with a, a batten or a top hat and then a, a hebel wall outside of that. So that's creating a composite. So we're going to start with this and press Alt to select the wall. And then we're going to go into our composites. Currently, we see that we've got a uh, BP01. So this is our block wall. And we're going to amend this slightly to then make it um, work with what we want to do to, to represent Hebel. Now, of course, it's currently showing the the brick wall, sorry, the block wall, the concrete block wall as a solid block. Now in reality we don't want that to be a, a solid block, we actually want that to be a hollow core concrete block. So it's just a question of how much detail we want to show in order to represent it accurately. What we're going to do is we're going to um, actually split this and put concrete in the middle so it looks a little bit more accurate for what we're trying to do. So we'll spend a little bit more time on this to make it work really nice. Uh, apart from that, we'll leave the settings that are currently here rather than fiddling with them too much. Um, and hopefully we'll just be able to find the materials that we need rather than having to make new building materials because that's out of the scope of what I want to do now. So let's change the size of this. So instead of being 190, we're going to make each one to be 40 mil. We're going to say insert skin and insert skin. So we'll just triple that. 40 40, so that's obviously 80, plus the middle one is going to be 110 in order to be able to give us 190 structure that we require. Now, the middle isn't going to be concrete block. We're going to change that to concrete structural so it looks like uh, the core field concrete that we'd have. Now, whether that's actually concrete or whether that's um, a mortar uh, isn't really important at the moment. We won't worry too much about that. Now the cavity, we're going to increase this slightly. We're going to change that to 35 mil for a batten or a top hat. And then the final one that we're going to do is um, our plasterboard. Now the only problem with what we're doing at the moment is we're currently suggesting the internal is plasterboard and the outside is concrete block and that's sort of backwards to what we want to do. So I'm going to leave this like it is, 35 mil batten and 10 mil plasterboard. Um, and then we're going to go outside, so back up to the top. So we see outside, inside. And we're going to add a new skin outside and then another new skin outside. And we're going to use the same one here before, cavity space for the second to top. cavity space between wall structure, or we could use that top one here, cavity space batten, cavity space batten, and then we can finish with something that's going to represent our um, AAC, autoclave aerated concrete or cement. Um, do we have something that does that? Yes, Hebel Block. So this is, um, Hebel is obviously the company which creates an AAC panel. So that's going to work. It doesn't matter that it's a block versus a panel. It's still going to achieve what we want it to do. And we're going to change the thickness of this to be 75 millimeters. Now, um, AAC comes in different widths, but Hebel's power panel is 75 mil. So that's the one we're going to use. And then we needed to change that to 35 mil. So when we look at this overall, we're left with 
a total thickness of 345. So it's an incredibly thick wall. It's an incredibly wide wall. So we're not going to worry about that at the moment. We're going to use it and it's good that it's going to make it so big um, because that's going to help to dramatize what I'm trying to show you. Now what I did badly here is that I edited the original rather than creating a new one. So I'm going to say um, duplicate and then I will call this, uh, I'll prefix this just so we can find it separately, RMD A and I'll call this um, 190 block and or I could say plus people. Now why do I prefix it? Just so uh, it's off the screen at the moment just so that we can see this, that it'll keep them all together if I was to create multiples of these, just so once I start to create more of these, it makes it more justified. Uh, press OK for now. And we're going to, rather than redrawing, we're gonna edit the existing one that's here. Now what I want to do is to keep the reference point aligned with where the exterior skin of my concrete block is, because I'm using the concrete block being the most structural element in this wall as the definition of my structural load bearing line and also in order to be able to keep the size accurate for a concrete block width or length so that way again the um, the brick layer or the block layer doesn't need to cut the blocks unnecessarily so it's just about good planning good construction the way that we should be working as architects or building designers now I'm going to adjust this so when I adjust this, you'll see that we're currently using the reference line as the outside face. And so when I change this to my new composite wall, it's going to not work. It's going to automatically have the outside face of the hebel, not the outside face of the concrete block being the line. So what I would need to do is to move this 110 mil. So once 75 plus 35, 110 so that the concrete block is again in the right place. But I don't want to just move that, so I could just drag 110, but it's going to keep my reference line all the way out there, which isn't really the best way of working. What I'm going to do instead is choose this wall, and then when I go to my reference line, I'm going to offset my reference line. So instead of being on the outside face, it's going to move 110 millimeters inside my wall. So we see that. I'll still end up having my reference line where it should be on the outside face of my concrete block and I can then again reconnect these. In fact, I don't need to. It's automatically going to do that for me. The only problem that we're seeing is there's a, pri a priority problem where my batten or cavity is showing as a higher priority than my concrete block wall, which means they're not intersecting correctly. So I'm going to have to adjust that. We also might want to change this because this is again supposed to be a hollow core concrete block and it's not currently working correctly. But I'm not going to go to too much length trying to make the um, intersection work properly with priorities. That's just too complicated. I'm going to Alt to pick up this setting and then I'm going to Alt Command to inject the settings into this wall. And now the good thing about that is that's automatically going to change it to be the same setting as the previous one, which means, again, my uh, reference line is in the right place, and the walls are now adjusted top and bottom, so now we've got a, a appropriate external wall. Um, and, of course, we'd need to do something similar with our um, division wall, our intertenancy wall or party wall, whatever you want to call it, in order to be able to make those work in terms of a fire-rated and acoustically separated wall.